Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jess. If you don't know me, I am a professional makeup artist um, in real life and on YouTube as well. <laughs> so um, yeah, I thought today I want to do that Bella Hadid trend. Um, I can I see that some people are shaving their eyebrows. This video has nothing to do with shaving your eyebrows, plucking off any hairs, um, really reshaping in any way, shape or form. This is all to do with makeup, illusions, hair, and if you do have the tape, um, the eye tape, bring that along too. Otherwise, let's just get into it. So, I thought while we have some time, why not like try to look like famous model? <laughs> so the first thing I want to do is just put my base on, um, my concealer and everything like that because realistically we only need this for the eye area, eye section. Um, I will do this eye off camera as well and then I'll come back and do this eye. Because, wait, can, can I do that? Sorry, I just had like a moment there to think if I could do that. But yeah, I can do that. Um, so I want to do this eye off camera, then I'll come back and do this eye. And then we can go step by step on how we're going to look very... Without actually doing much. Be back. Okay, everyone. Welcome back. So I have done this eye. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to do this eye. So let's get straight into it. I'm using the Morphe... X Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm just taking a flat brush and then I'm just going to place that around there. I do have bigger eyes, so take that into account. And now what I'm doing is I'm like dragging that straight across. And then I'm taking my fluffy brush and I'm just blending that out so the reason why i'm bringing the shadow here is because we want our eye to kind of elongate and have that cat eye effect without shaving our brows or anything so it's like an illusion now i'm just gonna go back in with prawl and i'm just popping that a little bit on the outer corner bringing that out slightly as well taking my big fluffy brush and i'm just blending that out i am taking this past my brow so now i'm just going to do the liner i'm just going in with a deeper brown and what i'm going to actually do is so i'm just putting it all on my lash line first I've noticed with Bella Hadid's um, videos and stuff, her makeup looks like it's either she does really thick, bold liners or she, it's like the wing. And let me show you what the wing is. So it's basically like a straight. It's kind of just like literally a straight line to make your eye kind of to, you know, make your eye look like a cat. <laughs> so I just like to connect it. So you want to go really close. Now make sure not to go too thick. Because if you do go too thick, it does kind of make your eye look a bit more droopy. Now I believe these are from Ardell. These little half ones. I love these for cat eyes. I feel like they really make the job so much easier because it's half a lash. So I like to get it and then just twist it a little bit. As much as you can, I feel like, because, you know, sometimes they get really hard. And then you just kind of place it on the outer third of your eye. Make sure not to put it too close to your lash, um, to the outer corner, because it will kind of look droopy and we don't want that effect. What I am also going to do is I've got some individual lashes and I'm just going to pop two on the outer, the outer part of my eye and then just one in the middle because I want it to kind of be a gradient. I don't want there to be like full lash, nothing. And you know, this one on the outer third, the outer part on top. And then I just like to pat it down. 
It really does make a difference, trust me. And then with this lash, I'm gonna pop that just in between my real lash and the strip. Just like that. So then when I curl them, they actually look, you know, from little to not to a lot. So you guys know my ride or die is this Modorock Lash Curler. So I'm just gonna start by the outer corner and I do three pumps. Two, three. You also would know if you watch my channel that my favorite mascara is this Dior um, pump and what is it? Pump and Volume HD. It is by far one of the best mascaras I've ever used. So brows as well makes major, like the main difference. So with this, I'm gonna kind of brush them up. So my brows aren't that round, but they are round, like they're not straight. So I'm gonna try and make them as straight looking as possible. For the bottom part of our eye, I am gonna also put some brown, but I'm not gonna put it the whole way. I'm just placing it on the outer third. I'm taking out a hard brush and I'm just brushing this out. So that's the eye complete. I'm just getting my concealer brush and I'm just very lightly just gonna accentuate that a bit more so that is basically the eyes done I'm just gonna pop up on my lips and then I want to show you the second trick this is the easiest way to do it if you want to just do it with makeup otherwise stay tuned for the other two ways so this is the first look done I'm gonna take off these lashes And let's do the second one. All right, guys, so for this look, I am gonna pop on two individual lashes just on the outer edge of my eye. And I'm gonna just redo that brown liner we did, and I'll be right back. So the second way, um, you can either do your hair in a bun. I'm gonna do a half up, half down style, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I just part my hair. Okay, so you all know when we do a tight bun, our head feels like it's dislocated from well, our scalp feels like it's dislocated from our head, if that makes sense, yes. So I'm gonna grab these two strands and I'm just gonna leave them out for now. So you wanna leave these, like your baby hairs that's closest to your eye. I'm just gonna tie this really tight. And then I'm just going to tighten that a bit more. Rip our heads a little bit more. Okay, so these two strands, we're not gonna leave out. So we're gonna lift, hold on, this is closest to my eye. Hey, curly hair, man. So we're gonna lift this and lift that and we're gonna pull this and tuck it underneath. So I'm gonna move my hair. And I'm pulling, moving that here, and I'm gonna wrap it around and tuck it underneath. There. Because I feel like this is the way, the only way you can get it so tight. And like, do you just see how that like made it super, super tight? And then I've also got bobby pins for super intensity even though I feel like my head is so tight. So then we're gonna get the same strand and we're gonna pull that, lift it, and then I like bobby pin that. If you want it a bit more straight, I like it a bit more lifted. If you want it a bit more straight, just get the bobby pin. Straighten. It's really like magic. Now with this side, I want to straighten it a bit more.
So guys, so I just changed the lip color. I felt like it was a bit too pink for my liking. <laughs> so anyways, this is the second look. So for the last look, we're gonna have our hair. So you will need some face tape. I have some, so you can find them on eBay. Um, I think there are a few other places that actually sell them, but I bought these off eBay. I'm just gonna go ahead and get my hair ready and be right back. You're gonna get your face tape, pull it off. Okay, so you want to kind of like measure out how you want it. So I feel like Bella Hadid's a bit more like lifted, more like a bit that, because she's got like the, you know, straight brow, straight up brow. So I'm going to kind of place the tape like facing down and up, and you just kind of want to like poke it. So it comes with the string. You get the side. I'm going to actually place it in the first one. So just like that. And then that will obviously pull it. But I don't like pulling it straight away. I kind of like keeping it there. Okay. So now for the other side, you want to make sure not only are you placing it the exact way, but you want to make sure that your eyes are the same. So my eye shape is pretty much the same, but this eye beautifully enough is I feel like longer because it's not as wide. This is very wide. My brow comes a bit more lower here. This one doesn't, so if my, even if my was like that, it wouldn't. Anyway, so because this is gonna go up like that, I wanna make sure that it replicates. So if I just put it in the same position, it won't do the same thing. Do you know what I mean? I've gotta put it a little bit higher than I would've placed this. So that to me would be kind of as, as symmetrical as it's going to get for my eyes. So I'm going to get the tape. This time I'm actually going to put it in the hole first. Because we don't want to make the same mistake. It just makes it a bit more trickier and we want our lives to be easier, right? Scarlet's agreeing with me. So where I placed it is up there. So I'm going to want it right above my brow arch of like the end of my brow because I want that lifted like that okay so you leave them on for a bit I like to rub them in a bit usually I take the makeup off but what the hey so you can put this wherever the knot is so I I don't know I'm gonna just I kind of like to suss it out when I'm pulling it and then I'll just see in the mirror how tight I want it so that's the first one and that to me is already like really tight. Anyways, so this is with the face tape. So you really don't need to shave your eyebrows if you want it to just, if you want to just like look like this, you can just get face tape and bang. I hope this video has helped you guys. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel um, and comment down below what you want to see next. I would love to film that for you. If you do try any of my tips and tricks, make sure to tag me. I would love to like see your videos. And sorry, I like get so carried away when I fluff my hair because I don't realize like how much I have until I do that. And then I'm like, oh, there it is. But make sure to tag me in all your videos if you do recreate any of my looks or do my little tricks you know what i mean you guys so much for watching please stay safe and i hope you're all well and yeah let's get creative Mwah. bye guys